Hey friend, listen, I know we're all going through the coronavirus crisis, but we got to have a great evening routine. We've already talked about having an amazing morning routine, even during the crisis. Now, I want to walk you through exactly what I do and what you should not do. I'm going to give you a stern little warning, including her, uh, about what you should not do when you're in bed. If you want to have a great sleep and get up and still dominate in business and in life, even when you feel stressed out. So even if you have lost your job, even if your business has had to shut down, even if you are struggling to stay afloat, or if you're like a bunch of my clients, you're actually growing your business in this crisis, I need to walk you through exactly what to do in bed. All right, we're not going to go that far. But what we're going to do, <laughs> well, she, she said we're not going that far. So anyways, listen. The first thing that we do is we do these journals. She's got her journal, I've got my journal, and journaling is an amazing way to end the day. It gets a whole bunch of thoughts out of your head. You reflect on really how much you just love the little things in life. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna stop there and talk about two things not to do when you're in bed. One is when you're getting really close to bedtime, about an hour before bed, you gotta shut your electronics down, unlike I don't know who, because playing on your phone, you're checking Facebook, send the Instagrams and all that stuff, and you're getting into loops that get you all excited and aroused, not that kind of aroused, but mentally aroused, and it stops you from sleeping. Also, if you're watching Netflix in bed, that's also bad for you because of the blue light emitted from the screen increases your arousal, and again, you're going to toss and turn. So we get rid of those things an hour before bed. She's just playing along for fun. And honestly, we're filming this at 3 o'clock in the afternoon because she wanted to have a nap. So I decided to take advantage of that and jump in here and film this video. So what we do, what we actually do, is the journaling. And we reflect on the day. Now, I have an AM and PM journal. So I do the morning stuff, like what I want to do in the day. And then in the evening, I reflect on what I accomplished and I'm also able to reflect on happy moments, things that cause me a bit of stress, and I get to match up what I did with what I wanted to do. We call that watching the movie of your life, and this works in good times and in bad. So again, if you're struggling because you got laid off or whatever, stick to your regular bedtime, get into your regular bedtime routine, you'll wake up on time and you'll feel better about yourself so that you can either A, look for another job, or B, do some type of study so that you can build a second income or side hustle or whatever it is. But if you stay up late and you watch TV in bed and you can't fall asleep and then you hit the snooze button in the morning, you're really gonna feel down on yourself. And especially if you're eating a bunch of junk. Can you show the chips that you're eating? We may have had a few snacks. If you're eating snacky snacks all the time, especially in bed, it's also gonna throw off your energy levels. So once in a while, this is a Sunday afternoon, we're treating ourselves a tiny bit, but then we're gonna have a really healthy dinner, right baby? Right. Absolutely, we have healthy breakfast and a healthy lunch. So we do the journals, we get all the thoughts out of our head. You probably heard me talk about a brain dump. You gotta do your brain dump and your planning much earlier in the evening or perhaps even at the end of your work day. You do the brain dump, you do your to-do list so you know what to do in the morning. Then we're really doing kind of easy journaling at night. And then the best way to fall asleep is to read a book. So after you've gotten everything out of your head, maybe you do a meditation. We just did a headspace meditation today. That's another way to calm down and help you fall asleep. But also, read a book. So we're right right now, she's reading The Rules of Love. I don't know why. Uh, pretty obvious. Just love uh, the furry guy. So anyways, we've got our journaling. We've got our meditation. We've got our rules of love. And I like to say that a book is the best sleeping pill that you can get, even in this day and age of, let's just call it uncertainty, right? So if you're broken, struggling, if you got laid off, if you're uncertain, if you're scared, it doesn't give us any excuse not to have a normal bedtime routine so that we wake up and make every single day an 11 out of 10, all right? So get to bed on time so that you get up on time and have the energy to change your life, take care of your family, and live the life of your dreams, okay? So I want you to be good. I want you to stay safe. I want you to be strong. I want you to be successful. I want you to dominate in business and in life just like you always have. So get out there, make the most of the day.
by making the most of every night. All right. I love you. Craig Valentine here. Drop me a comment down below about where you're struggling with your bedtime routine. But if you did what I just told you to do, you'll sleep like this dog anywhere, anytime. Love you.